Hello and welcome to this Estranged Development Blog video. In this video I'm going to show you some very simple bird AI. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by showing you it in action. So I'm going to press simulate here and you can see these birds immediately fly off. And what they're doing is they're just finding a point in a bounding box to fly to and then they fly back again. So it's a bit difficult to track them now. So there's another collection of birds over the ocean as well, which is the same principle, but it's over a different area. So you can see there's a bird here, bird here. See, they're all over here, but there's just a bigger bounding box for them to pick a point and, and fly to. So very, very simple logic. Um, the same logic is also used by the fish in here. So there's fish that are swang, flying around, swimming around, but actually they're flying around. There's an eel here that's, that's swimming around as well. That uses exactly the same logic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the, the birds first. And this adds so much to the scene. Actually, since adding these birds, it really makes it feel like a, a kind of real beach scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this seagull asset. So the seagull is playing some random sounds. That's not really important to the AI. That just, that just kind of adds to the effect. Now it inherits from this eagle blueprint. So the eagle is, it has a completely different look to it. Um, the seagulls have a different skin. They use the same model because it's in the sky and you can't really see it anyway. So if we go to the event graph here, when we begin play, the first thing it does is it takes this bounds actor that it's been assigned. So if I look at it in the level editor, there is a bird bounds 2 assigned to that bounds actor property. So if I go to bird bounds 2 and then focus it, you can see that it's a very, very sizable trigger. So the birds are allowed to fly around this entire trigger. They find a point in it, fly to it, and when they've flown to it, they find another point. So it's a kind of infinite uh, uh, flying, seeking behavior. Very, very useful for this kind of thing. So if I go back to the uh, eagle blueprint, that's setting the bounds actor property on the blackboard. So that can be used in the AI blueprint, in the behavior tree. Uh, there's, some, there's also some other stuff in here around movement. So um, you can see that the uh, default land movement mode is flying. The max acceleration is 512. Uh, there's some other stuff here, max fly speed and the rotation rate. I really kind of tweak to this a lot to, to, to make them feel good uh, as kind of that they're flying animations in there. Or, or they're flying movement rather. I didn't make this animation. So they just use a single flying animation, and the flying animation is actually, uh, it, it's changed based on the velocity of the bird. So the faster the, the bird goes, the quicker the uh, play rate of the animation is set to. So they flap harder if they're going faster, and if they're going slower, it flaps slower. So very simple stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the controller for this bird. Uh, so you can see here it's controlled by BP Fly Controller. So this is a generic controller for any flying uh, animal in Estranged. So not a lot interesting here. The most interesting thing is the behavior tree, so the fly behavior. So let's go into there. So you can see there's two tasks here. We come in, and the first task we execute is find a random point in the bounds actor. So you can see that it's got this bounds actor and a found location. And once it's found that, it moves directly towards it. So this move directly toward means don't use the navigation system. Just move directly in 3D space towards that location. Um, so very, very simple. Doesn't involve uh, pathing as well. So this thing on the left here, that's a custom uh, task. So if I go into here, when it receives the call to execute, it checks whether the uh, bounds actor is valid. If it's not, it just fails straight away. If it is valid, then it gets the bounds of that actor. It finds a random point in that bounding box, and then it sets it as the found location. So that's how that works. Very, very simple, just using vanilla Unreal stuff. So if we go back here, that's the fly behavior. And we go back here and close all of this. That is the... Uh, that is the behavior for the birds explained. That's, that's the full set of logic for this, for these birds. So very, very simple. Uh, also for the fish as well, same thing. They use exactly the same uh, behavior tree and exactly the same controller. Um, so it's all shared logic. Surprisingly, there is a snail over here. And the snail uses the exact same logic as well. 
So the snail is, it has a different movement mode. It, it walks, so it can't move up and down uh, kind of on the z-axis. But what it does do is it uses this uh, fly behavior because the fly behavior, kind of badly named, it just moves directly towards something. So the snail is, all it's doing is it's picking a random point, and I'll show you the bounding box that it's picking. It's this one. So it's picking a point in here, and it's moving towards it. And the snail is obviously much, much slower, a lot of, uh, a lot of different parameters here for its movement, um, but it's exactly the same principle. So very, very simple. So this is uh, a kind of very powerful technique to add a lot to a scene, and it really does add a lot to this scene. So that's it for this development blog video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. The update that, that contains these uh, creatures is now live on the Steam development beta. It may be live on Steam when you uh, come around to watching this. So thank you very much for watching.